And just like that, we are back with everybody's favorite isekai. Well, not mine, but a lot of people's. <laughs> not gonna lie, I've been sick for the past like week and I really feel like shit right now, but we gotta pump these out. So apologies if energy <laughs> and everything is not there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do. As a result of me feeling like that, I have not prepped at all for this. And do I remember the things that have occurred to end the last core leading into this one? Absolutely not. Uh, I think what happened, let me think what happened. Rudy cured his ED. We got through that. Somebody didn't run away from him at the morning after. So that was also good. Uh, I think he proposed, right? They plan to get married. I don't remember if they left the school yet or if they're going to leave the school. I don't know. I, I don't think they left yet. Okay. So then we're going to go from there. So where is that going to lead us going forward? Okay. So, all right, I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in. I think I'm back in. Okay. So I think where we're going to probably head here is... All of them are going to go together. I'm assuming Sylphie comes with us. Does any of the others come with us? Uh, and by the others, I mean a bunch of people who I can't remember their names of that will come to me. Cliff, uh, the other guy, uh, the the tall dude with the the, the glasses, that guy. Uh, Julie, I'm assuming like all of them probably come with us. That, that would make the most sense to me unless they all stay behind at the school, but I don't believe so. Um, yeah, Alina Lise, she'll come with us. I'm, I'm guessing that would make the most sense too. Uh, kind of just follow us along. Uh, and then we will begin new life. Uh, maybe we have a marriage ceremony. Maybe we don't. I don't really care either way if we do or don't. Uh, and then we will probably have a little life together with Sylphie and Rudy for like an episode or two, and then we'll venture onwards and then we'll continue going to do whatever we have to do to likely find his mom, I'd assume, uh, would probably be the next step. Along the way, will we end up meeting up with Roxy or Eris or come into contact with any of them at any point? I do not know. So I'd assume that's the rough outline of the things that are to come. Uh, I've, I, I know some stuff like spoiler stuff I, uh, about the series. I don't know if there are things that occur this core or this season at all. Uh, I have zero clue. Uh, and, like, I just literally do not know when they occur. Uh, so if they do happen, I will talk about when they end up happening. Actually, I do know one thing for a fact that's going to happen this core. Uh, and we'll talk about that when it comes, but I don't know what happens. I just know that it happens this core, uh, but I don't know like the way it's all like what actually occurs within it. Uh, so we'll actually figure all that out when it comes and we'll talk about that, that when those things kind of arrive. Uh, and that's all I think I really know. And all I think I really want to say, I don't have too much. I really want to grab onto. Uh, I've seen that the production or I've read some stuff that the production is a lot better for this course specifically they did focus a lot more on it in comparison to how rocky the the beginning half of core one ended up being uh and there was definitely more priority placed over here but we also saw some stabilization come later on throughout the remainder of core one so it makes a lot more sense will we reach the peaks and the things that we hit uh within season one again likely not uh but that's not a big deal because it's still better than like 90 percent of the industry itself so we don't really care about any of that. I guess hopes and things I would want this season. I'd like to see Roxy at some point. I just don't think we're at that point yet. Like, I just I just feel like we got to wait. And maybe we do. Maybe we do team back up with her and we get it. I don't know. I just I just feel like I feel like we'll go full season with Sylphie. And then we'll or maybe we'll like meet the back end of season like late, late. Uh, so we won't really get much of that. But I just feel like we'll we're going to wait. And that's going to be something that has to be explored further uh would be my guess there'd have to be a reason almost it feels like that we would have to leave selfie behind for something and then we would end up meeting up with somebody else would make the most sense to me but i don't i don't know i mean maybe that's not the case maybe we're just like like full harem everybody together we'll all just have to be content with it the moment it starts i'm assuming like we go that route regardless it's just will they be comfortable with it at first you know or will he just kind of do his thing with everybody separately and then bring them all together uh, is where i'm like a little off on i don't know this is a toho show uh we usually talk about that where i just mute the audio and stuff and we go the normal toho procedures to avoid them but weirdly they never attacked me once or claimed any of the videos for the uh first core so we're just gonna kind of go with it <laughs> like normal i'm just gonna upload them normally and hopefully we don't run into any problems with this core either uh 
lot and i think that would be best for viewing experience too but we'll see and if they kind of come at us at some other point we'll end up shifting and we'll we'll worry about that when it comes uh but i'll probably just won't talk about that anymore as long as they're not not claiming these yet uh which i think should be pretty good uh i'm expecting this core likely just from things i've heard to be better just overall uh than the first core which i mean it was still really good uh so that's kind of still high marks for it to be able to reach although i did think core one was still the weakest part of the i guess three parts that we've had at this point now of the series uh so we'll end up seeing what they end up going with uh and i'm just excited i guess to explore this journey a little bit more uh and learn a little bit more about what they have in store for us hopefully you guys enjoy if you like it all like and subscribe they do mean a lot to me feel free to stick around for a discussion and leave me a comment for this episode or series let's get going though with mushoku tensei season two core two episode one or episode 13 i guess <laughs> of that no op they said screw you wait till you get to the good environment i wonder if we're gonna resort back to the op or if it was just because we were stuck in one location for so long i guess it just depends where we go right let's go julie xanoba that's his name i could not remember i'm happy julie here though Change man at this point. <laughs> Got my swag back. <laughs> no. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, in some rough ways. Yes. Which makes sense why he lustfully can look at them the way that he does. Thanks, buddy. You haven't really proved that for all the episodes so far, but you know, I guess you're changed now. <laughs> well, we'll go with it. Gift or just in general? So it is for a lot of the people, you know? Ni, Paulo ni tegami o okutteiru. Was even getting back to you? Yoki ga natta no saikai o mezashite mo ii no da ga. Sono mai ni yara nakereba nara nai koto ga aru. The squad. No more glasses either. We love it. Kanoji ga ore o taskete kureta yo ni. Kondo wa ore ga Shilfi no nozomu koto o shite agere banda. Dou sereba ii in da? Yeah, how does that work in this world? You just say it? Sure. Did you mean like legally, like how we do this? Hmm. But this girl does not. So we gotta work. We gotta get a job. <laughs> Can we just build one with our magic? Yeah. <laughs> That's news to them. Congrats, brother. Cool. Yeah. You wanna have a big family, so you gotta. You know. Maybe she can help us. Yeah, ask her. Ask her. She's got money, right? Yeah. yeah, this is a decision you probably could make together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like, doesn't exist. So you just happen to find one, I guess. In this economy, absolutely does not exist. 
なかなかいいですな。What the fuck? いや、二人で暮らすには大きすぎるぐらいじゃないか。分けありなので、値段はそう高くないんですよ。呪われているって話だ。Oh, so that's why it would be cheaper, of course. どがして翌日家のものが残殺されていたそうです。Mm, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. Might be in worse shape than we thought. Oh, he has the strength. That's right. That's right. Just as you're instructed, brother.、Yeah. Even you can do that. That's when they all come out. I mean, you gotta be on guard, though. レイのやつは夜中に現れるという話だ。それほど強力な魔物ではないと思うが。I might just protect this place. Yeah, I mean. ジュリが心配ですね。Oh, what is she doing? ジュリが心配だ。俺だってシルフィーが心配だ。So you got people that you have to come back for? 俺、この剣が片付いたら、結婚するんだ。Mm. はい、さっさと終わらせて、この屋敷で盛大に祝いたいものですな。そのお祝い。I like this group, you know. I like this, like the boys. I fuck s with those. What was his weird reaction to that? Like, he almost like didn't expect them to just like be so accepting or understanding what he's doing. All the doors open and are in there. Are they gonna try and jump scare me? I'm not ready for this. Please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> Wait the fuck up! <laughs> There's some shit going down. I don't know why I just realized that that entire wall was ripped open, too. <laughs> I kept showing it. Yeah, we are gonna have a lot of work to do. Stay together. Do not split up, please. There we go. It's behind you. Don't close the door. No, 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 it's gonna trap you. You're gonna get trapped in here. Alright, nice, nice. He stayed on the outside. They're, being, they're way smarter than、no, no. <laughs> your typical shit. That means it's not. <laughs> oh, those are hands. <laughs> that looks like an alien. Oh, what the f? <laughs> oh my god! That bitch got a hard shell. No! Nice, nice. Crush it with your strength, please. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. <sighs> All right. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Nice. Scared the fuck out of all of them, though. No, listen, you tried. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. You're good, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were all more freaked out than I figured they would be. Oh. さすがだな。ザラバの人形を見る目はすでに俺を超えている。よ、一目でこれが人形だと気づきましたよ。俺たちでも作れるかもしれない。うん。こいつは魔法のようだが、シリコン素材のようなフィギュアでも動かせるの
夢が広がる。ねえ。いい加減にしろおそんなこと言ってる場合じゃないんですよ。そんなこと言ってる場合じゃないんですよ。そんなこと言ってる場合じゃないんですよ。そんなこと言ってる場合じゃないんですよ。手を離してください。人形の設計図などが見つかるかもしれませんしね。おお、なるほど、確かに。この人形がどこにいたのか、徹底的に突き止めましょう。ああ。クリフ先輩、この台座が何かわかりますか。いや、初めて見るな。The music doesn't feel creepy enough or anything that we're going to find something really bad here? I don't know. 人形のことが書いてあるように。So somebody's really been. Which drives everybody off for however long it was. Nobody's able to stop it in any sort of way. Jiko de Shinta Kano Sega Takai. Nani Seo. Yeah, you wouldn't just leave that behind. In other words, we found the house. Absolutely, dude. Please let him do it. I mean, this is his passion, though. This gives him and Julie something to do, too. But he's asking you for this. He wants this. I mean, he stopped it before. Yeah. That's really sweet. Your strong, clumsy hands. Thank you, sir. 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 So much for a starter. Shilfi no 昔の髪の色に近いものにしたんだ。Shilfi は嫌かもしれないけど、俺は結構好きだったからさ。Damn, he done put in the fucking work. Do they go into more detail in the novel about how they made all this look so good? <laughs> And fix this up because I'm, I'm just curious if it's like straight magic or if they actually had to put in some work. <laughs> but it's our room. <laughs> I mean, why would you not? そりゃもちろん。シルフィーを美味しく食べるためさ。あ、そっか。そうだよね。正直どうすればいいのか、俺はわからない。こうして家を買ってはみたが、<laughs> <laughs> これからのことだって話し合わなければならないことばかりだ。えっと、ルディが望むんだ。まだあと2年はこの国にいるし、卒業した後もすぐアスラ王国に戻るわけじゃないんだ。こんな立派なお家も用意してくれたのに、あまりつけないだろうし。シルフィーは俺に大切なものを取り戻させてくれた。自分の体を使って。<laughs> It's like this is the least I can do. Sylphie got damn it to you, Nara. Darega eat to you, Nara. Boku ni tsma ni naru skaku nante. No, 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 no. Sylphie wa ore no mono da. Huh? Hi. Rudy no des. Yeah. It's a team effort. We gotta work through this shit. Oh no, what is it gonna be? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> There's no way he would do that. It was the last thing he would do. <laughs> I 
incoming next episode turning point and he gets teleported away. <laughs> Our happy couple is back together again and in their new home together. Uh, lots of good moments between friends and family, uh, basically now uh, all coming together uh, to make up essentially all what was this episode with a little bit of, of horror and jump scares uh, a little bit in there. Uh, and it all makes it, it makes it like a, a segue between... But more of just a continuation, actually, I would say, from where the last episode left off. And overall, it was fine. Uh, it doesn't do anything incredible or, or crazy, but it feels more, like I said, uh, a way to transition you more into what we're going to continue getting into and what the next, next stage is ultimately going to start setting us towards, which is going to be going towards the wedding and everything. And then when we get into that aspect, we'll start setting up a lot more of the plot points and things that are likely to come uh, throughout the remainder of this this arc uh, and this season, I guess. I shouldn't even say arc. We see some growth and things, of course, throughout a lot of the other characters uh, within this episode, and that's all good and well. Uh, and that feels like about it of what they really kind of present to us here. Uh, it's nice to see a little bit of growth on Rudy's part with him kind of being thankful to somebody and wanting to give back to them, uh, especially because he cares for them so much. And then also just being really considerate of, of Sylphie in the situation that she finds herself in and not wanting to like alter or change the path and the things that she does uh, and just letting her be comfortable within herself and him also kind of recognizing that they might just end up like butting heads at a certain point uh, when it comes to each of them wanting to go out and do their own things or whatever it is to come. But if that time ends up coming, we will sit down and actually talk these things out and we don't just have to argue and, and go through these hardships like that. And we can work through everything that we, we really need to together as we always have before. Uh, and things will end up working themselves out, which I think is really sweet. And it shows definitely some more, more maturity on his part. Uh, while this episode isn't completely uh, rid of him, you know, showing a little bit of immaturity in certain ways, it still is a nice, nice step in the right direction for him as a person. We also get to see a little bit too with Zanabo coming in and him uh, wanting to be relied on a little bit by somebody or not, not even relied on, but feel like he can do something for somebody that is so his, he feels has done so much for him, uh, which is a, a theme I would say overall throughout this episode of wanting to do something for somebody else uh, who has done things for you uh, and wanting to be useful to that person and wanting to do something that maybe makes that person appreciate you or, or view you in kind of a different way and show your dedication and determination and stuff, uh, which I think was really sweet too, uh, of Rudy, of course, letting him be be comfortable enough doing that. Uh, and also just him wanting to take that charge and in, in being so interested and invested in this thing that is this hobby of his, of course, uh, and wanting to really take it to the next level and do something that could be so amazing, especially on this world and the research and everything that's done. Uh, the big question, of course, gets left of who the fuck was living in that house before that was doing all this research on this. I feel like that's going to be rather important uh, and something that we should we should probably probably note and at least be aware of. We start off, we get to meet our two again. Uh, it's nice of him being so happy. Everybody sees and feels that presence of him change. He knows something or they know something's a little bit different, of course. Uh, in this moment, him getting that look, of course, he has to do something like this when he up seeing these girls uh which is more of a i guess indication almost of him feeling like he's back to his normal self right he can look at these people and he can feel a certain way that he never did before when he would look at them he would use that as like a way to kind of measure like if he was fixed or not and now in this moment he can actually see that he is cured you know just by his general reaction of course everybody else around him can kind of immediately sense that the aura that he's kind of giving off is kind of different so i mean i i have no issue i guess really with that scene well of course it's still weird at the end of the day that everybody's just so accepting and okay of that it's understandable i guess as to to why because they've set it up so long throughout all the other other episodes in the past the nanahoshi of our uh interaction is fine for what it is uh kind and just her dropping of course that there is somebody that she's liked in the past also just something uh i didn't mention before but i think rudy's determination to understand the world a little bit and the marriage system and all of this stuff uh is really cool at least of, of him just trying to at least show an understanding in that and take an interest in the things that he is that he needs to learn but to be fair anybody in this situation would have to figure out and learn that kind of stuff so i don't think he's doing anything too like crazy or great i guess in that moment uh but at least he is like taking that step in that effort of trying to figure it out uh instead of just like leaving it all behind to somebody like sylphie because even typically uh i mean and i'm assuming even in like more of the standard uh 
error, I guess, that this this series, I guess, would in the fantasy element, I guess, that it would take place in uh, in this world. It probably is more on the woman to usually take care of a lot of this stuff, especially when it comes to marriage and doing all this stuff. Well, his job is out of the way of asking the person to do so. Uh, it's probably on them to like coordinate and set things up would be almost my guess, or it would be on somebody else like beneath you to actually go out of their way and do it. So the fact that he's the one like trying to to take the correct steps and move forward and do all these things, I think is pretty cool. Talks to our squad, of course, about what we should do. They end up figuring out like, oh, I guess a house could be the, the, the starter point for us to end up going in, uh, which ends up moving him to looking for a bunch of plans and stuff for him to get houses. So I don't know in this like you just get the house like i'm assuming he had to like buy it and do all these things which are like little things that they skip but i am just curious like within the world of of how all this stuff is kind of working because i mean we end up seeing later when he renovates the house and he does a bunch of stuff too and he's like i'm not done with this area and i'm not done like doing all this it's like is all that stuff magical does he do it through his use of magic does he use it through buying things is he doing this stuff himself is he hiring people to do this work is he like like i'm actually curious in the actual like way that all of this is coming together uh because it just like almost seems like it's like oh shit here's this huge house it's like well does he have a bunch of money and stuff is he just getting like extra privilege in these things is like anything he wants because of his like status and stuff while he's at the school has he like saved up a bunch of stuff that i'm misremembering uh from the past that he's able to is it i mean i understand it's like it's like a cheap thing because it's haunted and all that stuff's going on but it's still like this huge huge thing you know you would think that somebody eventually would end up coming along and taking it too and we just kind of skip over those facts like so i am just a little curious as to the the background a little bit behind this just because i'm just interested myself but they do they find out there's a whole bunch of this mystery going on we gotta be careful this thing comes out at night and a whole bunch of shit goes down i like our moment between our group here uh that takes up the bulk of the episode which i can't say i'm the most interested in it uh but it is what it is we all go out we end up finding it they're trying to lead you on to the ultimate moment they can jump scaring you i'm assuming they get a few people i think it was because it dragged a little bit longer longer than it should have if they initially just did it uh it would have been a lot more scary for what it was but in this moment it ends up not hitting as hard for me uh but it ends up coming out and it terrifies all of the others involved uh which is definitely a big deal too it's like these people who are actually extremely powerful and capable of all this stuff struggling to take something down like this and being in so much fear as well of uh in that that given moment just shows how human that people like this can actually be no matter how powerful you actually are santa was able to stop it uh and i i like that rudy was was able to listen to him and hold back and not actually fire off in this moment while well, he kept telling him to stop because he realized in an instant exactly what this thing was uh so he puts a stop to it and ends up figuring out this is some automated doll that they end up having this is a huge discovery this is a big thing uh that can be like who the fuck is the person <laughs> that's doing all this right and we need to figure out this because of course there could be multiple here we don't even know it could be more than just one uh it could be somebody that's controlling it from the outside it's just entirely automated by itself who's in charge of this like there's many questions that you end up having to ask at this point uh which leads them to end up finding the secret room here which ends up finding the plans that somebody made uh and was writing up when they were creating it they find some stuff with these different like magic circles and things that are kind of going on within it uh and they basically figure out that the owner of this ends up dying or that's the assumption is that the owner ended up leaving it because why would they end up leaving this thing behind uh probably died in an accident relating to it and then that's why this house ended up kind of becoming for sale and all this stuff and then at this point when it become abandoned uh nobody ends up wanting to take over and it just kind of sits there and, and decays over time because this thing constantly comes out at night for anybody who constantly tries to live there or look at the thing so it's a big issue but it all tracks and makes sense why such a beautiful house would end up becoming like that right really impactful in this moment of Xana by actually going out of his way and, and asking for something something that he wants to do on his own he wants to prove himself in a way uh and show how grateful he is for somebody by by being able to do something to show his use almost and i think that's pretty cool uh, and we're able to go through that. And then we go into our little couple moment here. He completely fixes up the house. Everything looks fantastic. It looks way better than before. Uh, he showcases it and we montage through a little bit and he shows it to her until our final conversation where he's like, I got no clue what the fuck I'm doing here, but this is a step. I understand you got a lot of things. You have to go back in like a few years and we have to go through all of this. What is the intentions? Like, what are we, what are we going to end up doing in the meantime? Like, where are we going to go from after then? Sure. There's lots of questions and things that we have to end up figuring out, but this is somebody 
somebody who's very important to you. I mean, it's going to be your fucking wife. She's somebody who gave you something that's extremely important to you as well uh, and was able to get you back and making you feel normal and like, like a normal person that you actually belong and fit in here instead of just feeling like you're completely different from everyone else in that moment. Uh, and instead, she's just somebody who smiles and she or she greets you with that smile. She's extremely kind and cares for you. So, of course, how do I pay that person back, right? And that's the constant question that a lot of people, I'd assume, usually in love, uh, you see in a lot of movies and things, people struggle with that, right? Like, how do I give back to the person who has given me fucking everything, right? And that's usually a hard thing. I mean, that's usually a lot of people end up, like, always looking up to, like, parents and things, right? It's like, these people have given me so much and, like, you know, allowed me to be in the position that I am growing up and, like, becoming who I ended up becoming to a point of, like, how do I repay them? You know, there's never enough or I never have enough time or money or anything that can repay that person for all the things that they've done for me. And that's kind of the situation that he almost feels like he's in here. And he's like, this is just a step, but we'll work through any issues and the things that kind of come together. But I just want you to know I'm kind of doing these things for you. And her only thing that she wants is like, don't just up and disappear on me, which is what he wouldn't want either. So of course you would think he's not going to end up wanting to do that. But my immediate thought goes to something is going to happen that tears them apart again that causes him to up and disappear and then causes her to almost just like kind of fucking feel like he just like left her and like abandoned her uh just because it adds more of like a dramatic moment too and also it's just like uh uh i mean this could just be like a straight fear response too this has happened before and i didn't want to have to lose you again or lose these people who are close and important to me right so it could just be like a straight fear response of course and then her being like i don't want to fucking i didn't want that to happen in the first place either uh but at the same time it does get me nervous like what are, what are we trying to say here uh i don't really know uh next time we're having our wedding reception i do wish they went a little more into like him actually figuring out the wedding stuff and more so just went on like all right i don't know what exactly i can do oh maybe i should get a house all right and then we spent the whole episode kind of just doing that um and then i guess we can go into that next episode so i'll i'll reserve criticisms for that until we get to the point uh but I, I am curious as well as somebody who doesn't understand this world either uh how a lot of these processes and things actually form how similar they are to ours or or anything else and none of that was explained just yet so i'm hoping some of that kind of gets explored a little bit more uh as we go forward and i'm assuming that it will ultimately to our wedding to our hopeful successful wedding because that's also the perfect situation for them to pull it back on us right and and tear everything away that's like actually the perfect spot you know right as we're about to get married to have some shit go down and and allow that never to actually come true or until like a further date uh but we'll end up seeing i guess the direction that they they choose for us to ultimately go that's gonna be all from me if you liked it all the like and subscribe to me a lot to me feel free to check out the videos and channel let me comments with the subscriber series i'll be back for the 14th episode next week i hope you guys have a good one peace